Hi, my name is Michael from Fire and Brilliance. And today, what I would like to talk about is deconstructing moissanite. It's a very popular subject in today's world, only because there are so many options available right now with the use of technology and the use of um, mining jewelry and all these different things. There's more options than just the traditional way. And this is a very popular subject that I do want to address. So um, let's break it down into five points. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, um, at first let's start with the sparkle. Basically what the sparkle is, is the reflection of light um, when light hits a gem and how it refracts that specific light. Uh, sometimes the patterns are different, sometimes the, um, the color that is re uh, reflecting from that specific gem is different. So that's basically the sparkle. When people are talking about the fire and brilliance, the sparkle and those type of things, that is what they are referring to. Now, when it comes to diamond, and compared to that of moissanite, moissanite actually has a higher refractive index and therefore has a higher sparkle. All right, the point number two, durability or hardness. The hardness of a gem is measured by what is called the Mohs scale. In the Mohs scale, the diamond beats moissanite when it comes to the actual hardness of the gem. A diamond is a most, has a most scale of 10, while a moissanite has a most scale of nine and a quarter. It does not necessarily mean that a moissanite is not hard. All that means is that it can't beat a diamond when it comes to the hardness. But it is a lot harder than most natural gems, such as sapphire, such as rubies, and those types of gems. And therefore, what all that means is that over time, it can take more wear and tear, and it could take on the fact that it won't get scratched as easily, and it's almost very difficult to actually scratch it at all, okay? The third point is lab versus mine. When people think about natural gems, uh, it's natural for a reason. It's been there for billions of years. It's been there since the T-Rex has roamed the earth. It's been there since uh, the beginning of time uh, as we know it. So in other words, it's mined. It's a natural gem. People actually have to dig and look for it uh, because it's natural. When it comes to a lab-created gem, all that means is a gem can actually be created in a lab nowadays, grown with the same chemical compound, and at the same time, be exactly the same when it comes to breaking down the actual gem. The only difference is that it's made in a lab. But when you're comparing a moissanite, a moissanite and a diamond is completely different. Okay? They are completely different. They're not the same. Uh, in terms of the chemical compound, but moissanite actually occurs naturally in nature. The only difference is that it's not, it does not occur in a sense where the, the gem is large enough or the stone is large enough to make it into a gem. Therefore, it has to be created in a lab. All right. When it comes to the price, anything controlled by a lab, anything controlled in an environment, most likely you could be able to control the price as well. So if you're comparing the option to purchase a diamond versus the option to purchase a moissanite of the same exact color scale. So if, for example, if you're considering a colorless diamond and a colorless moissanite at a one carat uh, versus the other one is also a one carat uh, with the same kind of clarity scale. For the diamond, you're going to be paying anywhere between 5000 to 8,000 US dollars versus a moissanite, it's going to range between 400 to about $600, depending on where you buy it, okay? And last but not least, there's diamond alternative. What, what is the definition of alternative? Alternative, these are options. Now you have options. If we're talking about 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago, the natural is the way to go because there weren't any options at that point in time. That's why we have this image. You can choose and pick. You have a choice to decide what it is that you want to choose. Uh, a diamond alternative, all that means is that the, a moissanite has the most similar visual and durable characteristics of that compared to a diamond. And I'll show you more about what I mean when we break it down in our next video. If you like what you hear, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.